Variety is reporting that Laura Vandervoort and Hannah Anderson have become the first actors announced for Lionsgate, Lionsgate's return to the Saw franchise with Saw Legacy, the eighth film in the horror franchise. The movie will be directed by the sibling team of Peter and Michael Spierig from a, P, a script by Pete Goldfinger and Josh Solberg based on the story and characters created by James Wan and Lee Whannell. The franchise revolves around the character of John Kramer, a.k.a. Jigsaw, who traps his victims in situations that test their will to live. No details on the story or if original actor Tobin Bell will be back as Jigsaw. Saw Legacy is dated for release on October 27th of 2017. Perry, do you buy or sell the first cast announcements for Saw Legacy? I guess I can't sell it because I don't really know anything about the two of them, so that doesn't really feel fair. Overall, I don't know how much I want another Saw movie, but at the same time, I would never not see it. I'm going to see it, and I'm probably going to look forward to seeing it. The only thing that I really do have my fingers crossed for with this movie is that they kind of go back to the beginning a little. What ruined the Saw franchise for me was the Jigsaw backstory and the operation and the other mm. players that come into play and just how it all spiraled out of control and it stopped making sense. And so much of the movie was about the behind-the-scenes fighting that went on to, to keep that operation going, and it wasn't on you know the high concept that got saw the huge start that it got, which was the trap. So I'm hoping that if we're getting another Saw movie, it is something that takes us back to the beginning where it does not continue anything mm. that we knew of the bad guys from the previous films. And given the fact that it's titled Saw Legacy, I, I lean towards maybe thinking they might be doing a, a copycat type approach. I have faith in the directors, though. I, I like these two guys, so we'll see. This is a toss-up. Until I hear a synopsis and until I see a little footage, I can't really make a good educated guess. I'm sure these, these ladies are fine, so I will buy it for now. Roka? Yeah, I like Vandervoort a lot. I've liked her since Smallville. Every time she pops up on any television show I'm watching, I'm, I know I'm in, I'm in for a, a good time with her character. She always brings it. She always does nice work, and it's interesting and fun to watch her. And mm -hmm. so I'm, I, if anything is going to make me go to a Saw film, it's maybe to see her again in, in on screen, you know, on, on film. Uh, I don't know anything about uh, uh, the other actress, Hannah Anderson. I don't know. the she was on, She's on a TV series now, and I don't, I've never watched it, so I don't know. Maybe you would know, David, because you're a TV talk guy. But, like, uh, to this idea, I think, Perry, you're right. This idea of, it feels very much like the Chucky film, like they're coming out with this other, like, as an homage to the whole thing. And maybe they're wrapping it up. Uh, but maybe, just maybe, they are what you're saying, in essence, kind of going this whole other direction, kind of like uh, Kylo, the Kylo Renning it. You know, they're kind of like, I'm going to try and become this, and, and because of what happened before, I'm going to try to become a version of that and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? And so it'll be interesting to see how they put that together. But like Perry said, we haven't seen any footage, so what, what, what can, how can we get super excited about it or any kind of trailer stuff yet, just yet? So what, what, what are we looking for? You it's know weird that we're talking about casting, and this yeah. movie was shot and comes out this year. Yeah. Yeah, like, why, first, why are these casting announcements coming know. out now? It's, yeah. it's very unusual. When I first read this story, the first thought that went through my mind is I knew it had an October 2017 release date on the calendar. Mm -hmm. The first thing I, the first note I wrote in my movie talk notes was, this movie is never going to meet that release date. And then I continued reading mm -hmm. the article, and they're like, oh, we shot it. It's in post-production. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. weird. It is weird. I, I wonder if maybe that means they don't have any, you know, big attention grabbing names, mm. bigger names than these, maybe. Yeah, we don't know if Tobin Bell's coming back either. But they, they, that's something that they might want to keep a secret. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to spoil all the spoil. I mean, movies, I mean, he's listed on the IMDb, yeah. but that doesn't mean anything. Right. Anyone could go in there and, and put that in. I mean, I, for me, I'm just gonna sell it just because I'm not really that interest in this franchise. I've only seen the first one. I don't really care for it. I'm glad it launched uh, 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 what's this, James Wan's career, mm, yeah. mm. but like for me the, the Saw franchise just has never been a thing, so I'm not really looking that forward to it. David? I'm the same. Uh, if we're talking about just the movie, I would sell. We're talking about casting, so I'll, I'll buy the cast, uh, especially like we're talking about uh, Laura Vandervoot. You know, she, if you don't know, she was on, you know, she's on Smallville, like mm -hmm. you said. She played mm -hmm. Supergirl on Smallville. Yep. 
And then she was Indigo on Supergirl. Yeah. On, uh, Stunt cast. Por- yeah, yeah. Uh, previously CBS, now on the CW, which is really cool. So she's going from the small screen to the big screen, so I'm, I'm rooting for her. But, I mean, in Perry, I trust when it comes to horror. I mean, her, Clark, Mark, and Schnapp, I mean, if there's a horror film on, I'm going to ask them first before I go see this because horror is not my genre. But I nice. trust you. You go see, say, go see The Green Room. Go see, you know, Don't Breathe. And they're good. I trust Perry. Nice and, plug. And, and this is what the first Saw film in like seven years, and this is gonna be yeah. the last one supposedly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some, uh, See how much it, money this one makes. Yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I. Like those final. I would get films. the impression. Well, you know, fi- I I say Final Destination has a lot more potential to continue than this franchise but that, does. But, but I mean that they always say this is the last one. And well, it never yeah. is because well, of how money, if they make money. Well, so Final Destination. Yeah. No, same thing with Resident Evil. But I, I just have a feeling yeah, Lionsgate true. also kind of needs another franchise. Yeah. Yeah. Hunger Games has been gone for a little while, and I don't know how well. I mean, I can't really make an accurate statement until I go through all of their current franchises. But the ones that come to mind, no. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. All right.